On the outskirts of Cardiff is one of the last remaining Victorian peers in Wales. A beautiful jewel in the South Wales crown which was nearly lost in a single afternoon, in a crash that nearly sealed its fate. This is the story of the Panath Pier Collision. Opened in 1898, the original pier was made from cast iron with a timber deck. By 1929, it was poshed up a bit and upgraded with a wooden pavilion, a reinforced concrete landing stage and an art deco pavilion. On the 31st of August 1931, a fire destroyed the wooden pavilion, the decking and a number of shops and shelters. The girders were damaged, but the pavilion survived. At the time, there was 800 people in the pavilion and luckily, all of them escaped unharmed. The pier was rebuilt, costing about a quarter of a million quid in today's money. The wooden pavilion, however, was not replaced. The most significant damage to the pier happened in May 1947. Canadian ship SS Port Royal Park, sailing under the flag of the Tavistock Shipping Company and en route from Bristol, crashed into the pier during severe gales. The 10,000 ton ship caused severe damage to the pier shattering and buckling the decking where it fractured and displaced over 70 of the supporting cast iron structures. It was a right mess. The Yacht Club archives record the crash as a resistible force meets a movable object. The on-duty club boatman was Bill Jones, who rushed out towards the pier when he noticed that the entire structure was on the brink of collapse. Mr Jones ran the length of the pier towards the Esplanade Hotel and apparently required the best part of a bottle of whiskey to recover. He was given £1.50 in repairs, which equates to about 60 quid today. It took two years to fully repair the damage to the pier and cost over a million quid. What an expensive mistake. Just under 20 years later in 1966, during some dense fog, another ship hit the pier. The culprit this time was a 600 ton P&A Campbell pleasure steamer, PS Bristol Queen. This crash caused damages of what would be about half a million quid today. Let's hope that's the end of its run of bad luck and it can be continued to be enjoyed for generations to come.